Hey Sagittarius, how's it going? Welcome back. Happy New Week. I hope Monday wasn't so, you know, Monday-ish for you. Um, I hope you had a great weekend. We're going to get into your love reading. So do take what resonates. Remember, it's not a one-to-one -one reading. But there will be messages for you to receive within this reading. Your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement. Um... <coughs> I am giving away two free personal readings for the month of November, so if you are new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Not only will you get notifications of all the readings that I post, but you will be able to take part in the monthly giveaways. Those two people that are randomly chosen this month will get to tell me what they would like their reading to be in regards to. All you need to do is subscribe, new and returning subscribers, leave the word grateful down below in this comment section of this reading and any reading that you view of mine throughout the month of um, November. At the end of every month, I will randomly choose those people to win. And I will always remind you the very last couple days of the month to check your notifications, little bell top right hand corner of everyone's YouTube homepage. Two people will be hearing from me. And then the beginning of December, I will announce December's giveaway. All right. So we do have infatuation and we have Scorpio energy. So with infatuation, feeling the intensity between the two of you, feeling the passion, feeling like you cannot get one get enough of one another. For those of you that were intimate, it was amazing. All right. I don't know if this was love or if I was in love with the idea of being in love. Our connection was all too consuming and I couldn't wrap my head around it. And then we do have Scorpio energy. Following your intuition. Again, a lot of passion between the two of you. Let's see what the message is with Scorpio. I'm sorry for accusing you of things you didn't even do. I'm so used to people hurting me. I assumed you were just trying to hurt me, as everyone else has. I should have treated you better. So I do feel some regret here. And then we have the runner. Yeah, this person bounced. It was too intense. It got too deep for them. They felt too much. Is it real or is it lost? They went back and forth with it. But in the end, they finally parted ways. They bounced. All right, let's see. Let's see what enter. Oh, the Ace of Wands. Guys, I was just going to say the mutual energy between the two of you. Could be someone that you're dealing with, wondering where it's going, or in separation. But the Ace of Wands is here. So I do feel a breakthrough coming. The Seven of Pentacles. There will no doubt be growth between the two of you. You've made that lasting impression on one another. I feel it's like you're both getting back up on the horse. You're both being persistent with your lives. You're both being resilient from certain things that you've experienced. I also feel that the moment that the two of you have this breakthrough in this connection, you're going to stay focused on one another. You're going to rebuild this. I do feel healing energy between the two of you. Present energy. There's that spark. You both want to take inspired action towards each other. I feel separately you're pursuing other things, pursuing other passions that you have. But you both want this new opportunity between each other. There is change coming to this situation. This is moving forward. Packing up and leaving, purging and releasing certain cycles. Cupid's arrows is known as the eight of wands. So the action being taken between the two of you. Movement forward. 
There it is. Get ready to receive, Sagittarius. In terms of this connection, get ready to receive. This person is, hasn't been able to move on. They haven't been able to connect with anyone on the level they connected with you. They had their doubts, yes. They probably felt that you were too fantasy-like and too magical. It was like too good to be true. But in the Four of Cups in traditional tarot is that cloud. And in within that cloud extends the hand holding a cup. So this is divine intervention right here. If you haven't noticed from the blessings that are about to rain down from above. Divine timing, yes. Spirit confirming this is divine intervention right here. I truly feel you both are longing for one another and feeling lonely, lonely without each other. High Priestess, the Two of Swords. Your spirit guides are kicking in full force in their energy. You're receiving clarity, being apart from them. They're receiving clarity. Possibly both of you are seeing signs and synchronicities from your spirit guides in the universe showing, you know, following your intuition, seeing these signs and synchronicities, really paying attention to your thoughts when you see specific things that remind you of them. They're seeing specific things that remind them of you. The two of wands. Yes, moving on. I really feel for some of you, this person has strong water in their chart. Could even be a fellow fire sign. Um, we have air here, but they may have strong water in their chart. You may. Seven of wands coming in to fight for this connection. Yes. Last card is the sun. This has long-term written all over it, Sagittarius. Long-term. Coming in, fighting for this connection. And it's possible with playing the runner role that they may have ghosted you and just went silent. And you're saying to yourself, why would I let them back in? Not everyone's perfect, number one. Not everything is black and white. I know you've heard me say that there's a lot of gray area in all of our lives until that moment that the light bulb goes off and everything starts to make sense, right? Are you going to say that you didn't have that gray area? Because I'm sure you did. And right here, this person is moving out of that gray area. Their ascension is your spirit guides putting them back onto your on your path. Their ascension is bringing them back to you. All right, spirit. Why is the 7 of pentacles here twice? The tower moment. 9 of cups. You truly don't expect this. You don't see it coming. It's leading to your wish fulfillment. Sagittarius and I feel you already know this you know in your intuition that it's not over you're seeing those signs you're seeing those synchronicities never doubt that so are they I love this for you guys all right final message is spirit Palm tree, stability, supportive of one another. The happy times, the lightheartedness, the growth, palm trees. I love that. And there it is. For some of you, there's palm tree and paradise. You might have met while you were on vacation 
One of you may live somewhere where it's very vacation-like. A lot of people may take vacation there, but that just seems to be, that's your home. But nonetheless, what do you feel when you're on vacation? Happiness, feeling content, feeling everything that you've worked so hard for. It's all in that moment that it pays off because you're on vacation. You're enjoying life. You're breaking away from the norm, the cycles, right? There are some days where I just, I'm so tired of the routine that I start to tear up. And I get so like, I, I need a vacation. And that's when my fiance kicks it in full force. All right, babe, let's start planning one. He made me skip Disney. We usually go, most of you know this, I'm a Disney lover. Um, I was going to say freak, but Disney lover. I usually do Disney twice a year, right? Um, do we have it? Probably not. We should be saving even more than we do now, but I cannot live without, you know, going to Disney. I could live without going to Disney. That's extreme. But it, it's my happy place, I should say. And do I hate leaving my dogs? It gives me so much anxiety to leave them. They get new beds. They get steak for dinner. I, I, ground, I ground, ground down steak for them while I'm away so they have something exciting to look forward to. Um, I pay my dog sitter so much money extra so that she better focus on my dogs when I'm away. Um, I can't even get a camera because I don't want to be that person to not think she's doing what I expect. Anyway, we took the girls for spring break, his niece, his daughter and my niece, last spring break of 2024, right? Um, and he, I would have gone around now or Christmas, and he's like, can we please hold out and just do once this year? Obviously, we paid more with two teenagers coming with us when it's usually just him and I, but it's been the longest countdown of me going in February, February 2025. I'm like, WTF? I'm never doing this again, even if I go by myself. But with that being said, better memories lie ahead for you and this person, Sagittarius. You're both looking at old photos. You're both, you both are in that energy of nostalgia. And with sun coming out as the very last card, it doesn't have to be too good to be true. It can be that fantasy. It can be that miracle in your life. Because the two of you connect in such a passionate way. E, I, C, T, N, L, R, Oh, all right. Rest or repeats. Take what resonates. Leave the word grateful down below. Anytime you want me to tune into just your energy, Sagittarius, go ahead and click on the link in the description box. Um, my Etsy shop has a variety of readings, personal readings over there, and I am currently running out of availability. Uh, uh, December, I'm going to go to just emergency readings. Um, so within 24 to 48 hour turnaround time in December, but there's only going to be a couple offered just so I can spend time with my family, my friends, focus on the holidays, um, work on my Etsy shop and then work on my YouTube, spend extra time loving my YouTube shop or my YouTube page. Um, but I, I did take part in a cyber sale on Etsy. I guess it's through the holidays that they're offering it. And it will be the whole month of November. But like I said, I'm booking up on availability. So go ahead and take advantage of that. Um, yeah, and so much love and light.